Hi, Jesse here with 4C and Razor Sharp Networks. I got a quick training for you on how to manage tasks through uh, email notifications. And for our internal uh, task group, I want to make sure that you're clear about how to update these tasks and assign them to you um, so that you're aware of uh, what needs to be done based off of the task and also the task priority. But before we get started, if you haven't already, please connect with us online through our social media sites. Uh, we send out a tremendous amount of valuable content that I know you'll be uh, you know it will help you um, better market your business online. We've included some links below if you're watching this on some of our syndicate sites. Uh, go ahead and click through and connect with us online and we'll help you grow your business. So let's get started real quick. Whenever a task is, a, what we've done is we've created task groups and we've assigned individuals to those task groups. And what we'd like to do is as you get these email notifications, we'd like you to log in, look at the priority of that task and then assign it to yourself, really evaluate the priority of the task. If you see a high priority task, uh, you're the first one and it's uh, assigned to a general group, go ahead and assign that to yourself and uh, make sure that that gets completed on the fast track. But what'll happen when, you, uh, when a task is assigned to a specific group, as you can see here, you get an email notification. And if you look at the assign to field, as you can see, it's assigned to our razor sharp development group. Uh, and there's several people that work in that group. And what we would encourage you to do is uh, uh, help that group get all the tasks completed in a timely manner. Of course, what also is important here is the uh, priority of the task. And again, high priority tasks, we request that you get those done on the fast track, make those the top priority. Uh, we have high, medium, and normal priority tasks based off of the severity uh, of the task request. But when you get these email notifications, uh, you can click it through to the task. You'll be able to review everything that you've seen in your email notification. But you select from the top left corner is edit. And what we're going to do is we're just going to assign this to myself real easily and quickly. And go ahead and save this task. And as you can see here, if I go back to our task list, our root task list, I've gone ahead and I've saved that task update uh, to my personal profile here. Uh, in addition to that, in the email notification, as you can see here, you get a notification of where the task originated on, what site it originated on. So you can click through to the root site pages and uh, go ahead and uh, log into the tasks that way as well. And it's a really great way to manage task notifications, make sure they get done uh, in a timely manner. Uh, if you are on a corporate site, of course, all the site content is located at the bottom of the page. And uh, you can click through uh, through the navigation pane. Once you select all site content, you get access to any site or subsite uh, within our organization. And uh, this will help you navigate through, uh, of course, uh, all of our sites and all of our customer sites, all of our company and customer sites, and effectively manage tasks uh, within that organization. As you can see here, when I assign that task to myself, I got a nice email notification. And uh, it notified me of that update. And, the, and now I can uh, complete that task as needed and make sure that uh, everything is taken care of. Now the second part of this, which is uh, equally important, is to make sure that you update the total hours worked on the task. Now this would be done on a daily basis. Uh, there's a couple of different fields that we're tracking and querying information on. One is the assigned to field, the other is the total hours worked, and then the last field is the date and modified, which gets automatically updated whenever you edit and save a new task. So these are the three fields that we query in order to do in order to generate your time cards. So what I would highly encourage you to do is keep these up to date and as accurate as possible. If you worked on this task yesterday uh, and you had two hours, you would go ahead and log into it, edit it, add two. Uh, if you worked on it today, even if it isn't complete, we worked an additional two hours, we'd come in here and we'd update this to four two yesterday plus two today equals four, and we would go ahead and save this task. Uh, it's gonna automatically get a timestamp, and we're gonna be able to query those four hours and add those into the total time that you've worked uh, on that task for the week so that we can track that really effectively. So that's all I have for now. Uh, sorry if we went a little bit long, but uh, again, we encourage you to connect with us through our social media sites below. Uh, connect and grow is uh, our motto. And until next time, we hope you make your business a razor-sharp business.